Hello everybody, in this one we will be checking out the Cadence Blocks uh, beta version of Cadence Blocks Pro. Uh, you can see it here that I've installed it, uh, 2.1.3. This is uh, one that's not available yet, but they have an awesome new uh, advanced query builder and we're going to have a look at that really fast. So I have my website that I've created in a previous video, the, the car website where we have uh, this set up as well. Um, and I'm now going to be adding the advanced query builder underneath to show you how easy it would be if it already <laughs> existed then as well. So let me uh, open this up. So I'm inside of the page here. I'm going to add a new row layout. Make it a one column one. I'm going to add the, if I search for query, you will see the query loop advanced. Uh, so this is the default one. I've already made a video about this one, I think quite in the beginning, how to set this up. Uh, but now we're going to use the advanced one. Uh, you can see in, the sec in this section here that I've used the normal query loop to create this. In the advanced one, we can um, just say create new. You can say no filters, simple filters, advanced filters, sidebar on the left, sidebar on the right, sidebar left single. Let me pick this one. So this looks already really cool. You see a lot of different uh, options here. Let me click on select. Um, let me just call this a video. Post types, I'm gonna select my cars for this and then click on create and we immediately have this imported inside of here where we have the search and the categories and then here we can uh, make a block card click on select and we have immediately some uh, things inside. Um, you see this is because I've used Jet Engine that some things won't work but we can of course change this. I've just imported a query card that's already created but we can um, set this up so it looks completely like this yeah but this is not what this video is going to be about i'm just going to show you let me click on update and save here let me refresh my page so we can see it in action so you see here we have the select and the sort options here we have displaying how many results we have and then we have my car so test mercedes ford focus you will see those as well and then one extra over here and what is the cool thing that we have um let me set this up so you can see it if we go to the categories over here you can select filter source a taxonomy for example and we're going to select for example the engine type and then you can uh, add some uh, things here so engine type we can change the text we can say how it should be ordered and how it should be uh, displayed uh, does it have to show the results, uh, show the children and stuff? We can style this as well if we want to. And we also have some uh, padding and margin. Click on update and save and then refresh and you will see immediately now engine type. And if we click on this, we can select two gasoline ones. We can select an electric one and you see it immediately re reloads or it doesn't really reload the page is just um, Ajax results, so it's something that you normally would have to install a separate plugin for to have this effect and now it's included or it will be included in the new advanced uh, query loop or query builder. So this looks really really promising uh, and reset filters shows everything again. The only thing that I've noticed is if you can add, so this is all set up because I imported something uh, default. If we click on the filter search filter drop down and we do after here we click on the plus icon we click on browse all you now will see that there are some filter date filter drop down um, filter checkbox so these are all new pagination sort this is something that wasn't available before as well so let me see here you see displaying ACF repeater fields so there are some things that are already set up here um, but we could add another drop down and we could say this should be our brands um, and you will see this does not work completely like it should uh, so let me put in the label like um, uh, which one did I just pick the brands click on updates click on refresh so now we have two we have engine type we have brands if I select brand you will see I have three brands inside one Mercedes one Ford and one Nissan the only thing hap what happens now is if I select this one, he, you see, 
they come back all so if we do both at the same time at this moment this does not seem to work too well but if you use them separately only use one of them then you see it works but maybe this is a temporary hiccup that is still going to be resolved i'm not sure but it's like at the moment it's only possible to use one of the filters at a time and not apply multiple filters at the same time so that's the only thing that i saw in the search one we can uh, put on nissan and that's the cool thing if you click on enter it stays in the same it doesn't refresh the page or open a new one the other cool thing about this is that everything is accessible from in the back end so here we have the cadence block settings and you see all query cards all queries are also inside of here so if you make a template you can access it from here so we can create a new block card from here just uh, take one of the default ones if you want to um, create and then you can uh, set which one you want uh, the post for example and then you can set it up so where you have the you can create whatever you want this is just a template that i've inserted but you can insert whatever block you want and create your completely custom uh, query card um, and then you can save this and uh, insert this everywhere in your site so you only have to create this once from here maybe we should call this then a different name but you have like this you can access this and if you edit something this is the block card that i'm now using if you then edit something over here and you change this to disable link you click on update everywhere in the site where you've used this block this setting will now also be enabled so this makes it really accessible for creating this sidebar left video this is the one i've just created you see it automatically gets imported inside of this query let's say i've used this query in different pages in my website if i then just go inside here and i change anything uh, here then i can just be sure so th these are the settings that i've set up and here we can if i want to offset with one post so the first one is not there and um, then i can do this from here if i click on update this will automatically be applied also here in my page you see the first one has disappeared the test uh, car is now gone so this makes it really um, maintainable you have all your queries and all your query cards in one central place and everything you change here will be applied to all your styling or everywhere you inserted it inside of the site so this is also a really really awesome new uh, feature for this all right thanks for watching see you in the next one